we called the Bridgewater Bulls. There was a teacher at Allgate that decided to put a, a mixed uh, softball team together. But I played baseball at school, I'll give it a go. So we had a bit of a fun year. And then he identified that winter baseball was still going on and that they played in the off season. He said, why don't we put a team in for the winter baseball uh, league? We got beat pretty comprehensively and it started from there. That was one team 36 years ago, now we've got six teams. This is a social club that plays baseball. You need to be a social person and you need to be someone who gets involved in the club. I enjoy it. It's, um, it's good to, I guess, be involved in a club which is all inclusive. All that really matters is that you're willing to get out there, have a go and have some fun. You can sort of relax more, not worry so much about stuffing up a plate because, you know, it doesn't really matter if you do something wrong. You get here early, you know, you might have a couple of beers before your game. Um, there's always a barbie on, there's always someone to talk to. You get out on the field, it's very competitive. Come off the field, beer tastes the same, you're shaking the hands, it's all good conversation and it's uh, just a great, great atmosphere. We have three games. We have an 11 o'clock game, a 1 o'clock game and a 3 o'clock game. So it's a, it's a long day. Uh, probably the youngest I think would be around 13 or 14 and I would not say the age of the eldest, that might not be polite, but I certainly think we're probably well in our 70s. We find it uh, quite important for the uh, older guys to mentor the younger guys in, in this part of the game rather than this part of the game. It's just great to sort of get around a bunch of guys uh, and sort of learning some life skills from them, I guess. So guys who you can sort of look up to and sort of role models. We're not out here because we're superstars, we're out here to have fun, so you get a bit of an error sometimes or a bit of a fumble. It's just how Bulls baseball is. A fumble hat is awarded to a player who makes an, an egregious error that also um, makes people laugh. And you know, like I've, I've had to fumble hat a few times. Yeah. The, the, the whole structure of the club is fantastic. It's run extremely well in my opinion. And you can be as serious or as laid back as you want, but generally speaking, you, you, it covers all bases. Bulls have done me a service in that area in realising that there's more to life than just winning. Um, enjoyment, um, satisfaction and uh, encouragement of others, including the opposition. I'm pretty competitive, like to win, so. It can be hard because people expect differently, but as long as you play it in a good nature and keep your competitiveness on the down low a little bit, then you'll be fine. And the focus is, I think, is really on it being an inclusive sport and about it being fun and developing skills rather than necessarily the outcome of winning. Um, and that makes it uh, a lot more fun for everybody. Rolling, 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 though the streams are swollen, keep them doggies rolling. There's a mixture of, of, of male and female, compared, mostly men, but there are certainly a number of women who play. There's actually three of us. Um, my daughter actually plays as well. This club has a lot of executives and own businesses, and this is their outlet on a Saturday. They work hard during the week and then they unwind out there or having a sausage and a, and a beer afterwards to, to release the tensions of, of, of the week. It's good not thinking about anything but what's coming at you. Uh, the pitcher's throwing the ball and you're saying to yourself, OK, the ball's coming to me after the bat has hit it. Or do I say, please, no, not to me, not to me, <laughs> please, not to me. Everyone's got to have a bull name. So I was the namer of the bulls for, um, well, I still am, I guess. It's, it's a bit of comedy, it's a bit of something different. I suppose it'd be rite of passage into the Bulls. Uh, and there's a ceremony to say that you are an official Bull. There is beer involved, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit like rookies who play their first game of AFL football. Afterwards, they tend to get doused. In. But it's not that bad, but it's, it's yeah, there's a little ceremony and, and uh, people are very proud to, to get their uniform and get their top. There is a sense in which you have to earn your bull name. There's being a bull, which means that you don't just come here and play baseball and go home. It's like uh, our president says loudly and often, we're a social club that happens to play baseball. The baseball community around Australia has um, recognised and acknowledged the bulls. They appreciate our, uh, our uh, friendly, um, happy-go-lucky nation. We're not, we're not taking ourselves seriously at all. Masters Games is, is very big these days for, for 
keeping older people active and involved in, in sport. And yeah, we've embraced that here. We had two teams in the Australian Masters. Old, old blokes continue to play baseball, not very well. There was one occasion when um, I was playing right field and the ball was hit out to me and I just didn't see it. And then it landed and I was just could not see where the ball was. And the batter was running around and no, no idea. Someone else had to go and find it. That was probably my finest moment. Fathers and Sons is a, uh, an addition that we've made over the last few years that I think has been a terrific one and uh, it's given a number of us the opportunity of playing with their sons, which is a very, very valuable thing, which I hope I look back on for many, many years and I hope they look back on when they get to my age and remember the day that they played a season or two with their old man. My whole family actually plays, so my mum, dad, brother and sister. What I love is I'm seeing my two boys play baseball and it's seeing the second generation uh, coming through, and now the third generation, my three grandkids were out today. Uh, we've um, formed a lot of uh, great relationships with people that will live with me as long as I'm around, I'm sure. I think it becomes an extension of your family. It's a great bunch of people that you, you know that if anybody was in any trouble, they would be there for you. Classic is one of the guys today, his mother passed away yesterday, and he still came out today because, you know, this is part of his extended family. Rolling, 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 though the streams are swollen, keep them doggies rolling raw hard. For rain and wind and weather, hell bent for leather, wishing my gal was by my side. The bull ring is where after the game you get in a ring at home plate with everyone from both teams. You put your arms over each other's shoulders and generally the coaches speak and you say three bulls roars for the game rather than the teams. We just uh, played really well. So uh, three bulls roars. <laughs> Two for the uh, umpires. One for the scoring. Okay, bring on the guys. I couldn't put it down to one thing. It's the overall experience that I would ch I'd say I cherish. The streams are swollen, keep them doggies rolling raw hard. For rain and wind and weather, hell bent for leather, wishing my gal was by my side. All the things I'm missing, good bills, love and kissing, are waiting at the end of my ride. Move them on, hit them up, hit them up, move them on, move them on, hit them up, raw hide. Cut them out, ride them in, ride them in, cut them out, cut them out, ride them in.